Today we'll be discussing basic maintenance and cleaning of the CVA coffee system. The milk flask is accessed from the front of the machine. Simply pull out and the milk flask is not insulated. So when it's not being used, it should be kept in the refrigerator. Use only plain milk, nothing that's sweetened. And you can use anything from 1% right through whole milk. As we open the door, along the back wall, you'll see a series of containers. The first container is for ground coffee. The machine will come with a scoop for measuring. The next container is for whole coffee beans. When selecting coffee beans, it's important that you choose a high quality bean and they must be non-flavored. Typically, when you're looking at a non-oily bean, you'll find that they have sort of a matte finish to them rather than a shiny finish. And if it is an oily bean, you can feel the oils. Flavored beans will damage the machine. In order to fill the container, you simply pull back on the lid. Next, we have the waste container. The waste container is used to collect the used coffee grounds. And finally, we have the water container. The water container pulls straight out. And as you look at the side of the water container, you'll see there are various marks for different maintenance and filling positions. It's very important that you use cold, fresh tap water, and the tap water should be changed every day. In order to fill the container, you simply lift off the lid. In order to remove the brew unit, simply press up on the button and slide the handle forward. There's also a locking tab right here which must be depressed. Press the tab and pull the brew unit out. Now cleaning the brew unit is very important and we'll cover that in our maintenance section. Finally, we have the drip tray. The drip tray just pulls straight out and at the back, you'll see a couple of metal contacts. These metal contacts sense when the drip tray is becoming full and it's very important to keep them both clean and dry. And the grid serves as a splash shield and that just lifts straight out. Now in order to reassemble, I just reinsert the drip tray. And right now I'm going to reinsert the brew unit. You'll notice that the handle is in the forward position. Simply slide it into place and you'll hear it lock. Now it's very important this arm must be put into the down position so simply depress the button and slide the arm down until it locks. And you insert the water container making sure that it seats fully along with the waste container, whole bean container, and ground coffee container. Right by the bean container, you have the grind adjustment lever, which can be pushed either to fine or coarse. Before making any adjustments, make sure you consult your operating instructions for the correct procedure. 